This guy, he's only been on Ducks since 2008, and woohoo, Roots an acid, techno, and early hardcore. Hey, 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 don't be jumping ahead now. I see it, but his passion for electronic <laughs> music goes back. I ain't hear none of that. All I heard was Root and acid, techno, and early hardcore. What the heck? She was going to the thing that would catch everybody's attention. Oh, yeah. I don't care what catches attention. I can't. I care what's correct. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Trying to be nice. It's a mis <laughs> Ranges from early rave drum and bass, Gabber and beyond. Robbie's set of loud, energetic, and unpredictable with no rules and no limits. So he's crazy. All right. Acid does that to you. It does. Good to know. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Next guy, DJ SBZ, who thinks he's from Dragon Ball Z and looks it too. <laughs> All right. Actually, he also has the face of a good Foose Row dog. All right. It. He's the manager of the U.S.-based hardcore label Alcor, founded in 2009. <clears throat> Alcor is a label which strives to create a, create a unity between Japanese hardcore and worldwide audience, audiences, featuring talent from across the globe. SBZ himself has a love for all kinds of hardcore, but finds it pa- his passion in the underground Japanese nerdcore scene. Not hip-hop, but hardcore music focused on pop culture, samples, and massive sound. Expect to hear a showcase of some side beats peppered with familiar sounds that will leave you begging for more. And if you catch him on his off days, his hair will turn blonde and he'll jump into space and save the universe. Oh, sound constipated. All core is also known as Kakarot, Goku, and if in other terminologies, the giant gold monkey. Please contact us if this is spotted. We next have DJ Descent. If he falls, Japan will be pissed. Sorry if it was too soon. <laughs> Hiroshima, we are sorry. Anyway, Julian Morals. A.K.A. Morales? That's a weird last name. Anyway, A.K.A. DJ Descent comes from Columbus, Ohio. I'm not even going there. Julian started spinning <laughs> and in the spring... Oh, 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 no, no, no. You hate the quote, you better go to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? 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 You made the cook. If you if you took the time to pause, you had something good. And you bring you don't I, leave it. I, don't I'm, leave. I'm just saying the name Morales. Morales? Columbus. No, it's Is he Hispanic? Yes. Yeah. Oh. With a name like Julian? <laughs> oh I said it I just said Julian. Because <laughs> that's the American way to say it. Yes. <laughs> Morales? You think? I think Cuban. Hmm. Gotta I'm going to go with Puerto Rican. Anyway, yes, so he started spinning in the spring of 2009 after attending local raves at the local, uh, local anime conventions. Oh, dear Lord. What if it was him in a fursuit? Oh, gosh. Oh. On a bad day, <laughs> off the diet, eating nothing but raw meat. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so he wants to bring a mixture of higher energy sounds and low earth shaking kicks. <laughs> <laughs> you can almost always hear his sets strike a balance between the upbeat side of happy hard. It's just the way you're saying all that. It's just for real. I could I saw, I saw earth shaking kicks and I didn't think about it till the way how you said it. Then I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Ah, don't give up. We are almost there. Okay. So we're not. We got DJ Kent. Start Kent. <laughs> okay. The upbeat side of happy hardcore to the much darker side of freeform. Freeform has a dark side. I thought it was like freedom. How do you? You know what? Never mind. Morales, Julio Morales of DJ Descent. We salute you, sir. Salute you and your large glory. Anyway, DJ Kent. DJ Kent is a world traveler, born in California, grew up in Japan, and now living in the streets. Wow, you went from the high life to the very high life to broke. What happened? Wait, that states not streets. Oh, God, I can't say <laughs> English. I need help. He brings the best of best. Oh, God, I need help. <laughs> Beth, there you go. Of both cultures. No, this is not Hannah, Mom. Hannah. <laughs> he is a 
she's a bicameral lunatic and they just give her a show because she has blonde hair and she has brown hair. Yep. Okay. okay, well, okay, I was just doing it because of the reference of both cultures, both both worlds, yeah. okay. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of comments about that. Yes, we will. I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate me. No, you're not. You're not sorry. It's okay with Barbara Streisand. With Julio Baez and you slaughtered and that man. That was bad. So this is this is my only profession. Really? Well, I think you're doing a darn good job. Really. <laughs> okay, now you're creeping me out. I'm messing with you. Take <laughs> me out. He is a veteran of countless parties. Oh my God! Playing the Remo Con. Remo Con. Okay. Chorus Khan, Ryu, Taiko, and DJ Tech Techor. Oh, Techor. There we go. In addition to DJing. That's in China. He has produced track for Beat Mania, II, second generation of DX, alongside close friends of Chorus K Kent. Oh, that's his name? Chorus K Kent? Oh my god, the triple K, 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 K. Anyway. No, that's his friend, K, Chorus K, and then it's period. Chorus? Then it deals with Kent again. Chorus K. Can't. They have to make a bigger period on that one. Anyway, <laughs> Kent will be spinning his own cross country culture all mixed set. You can always expect his sets to show you something new and bring you to a place you never have been before. You know, what you, can't ex- you know what you can't expect though? What? Spanish Inquisition. They're always there. They're in the shadows. They're like, nin- no, they're worse than ninjas. What are you talking about? They're like, they're ninjas that have ninjas for ninjas. They're, they're ninjas that have ninjas for accountants. They can't even sneak up on their bosses. The bosses sneak up on them. Like, I see my boss. And, hello, John. Oh, my God, I cut myself. When you get behind me, I've been here the entire time. Then who the heck is that? He just disappears and turns into, like, a small frog and jumps off screen. And then the, the frog turns out to be a ninja and disappears somewhere. Well, I have a habit of showing up out of nowhere and disappearing. I do that all the time. Witchcraft! A witchcraft? It's called being sneaky. Assassinated you and took out your friend at the same time. Hiya! Stay my bar. Whenever a streetlight goes out, a black man dies. Bad. <laughs> hey, you know what that made that comment before? No, John did. I don't remember. You said something about a streetlight that one time we were hanging out, but... No, I said, yeah, no, I was talking about you. I was like, every time... No, I was talking about, I was like, yeah, if Charles in the hood, no one would make it. It's like, why? Because every time a streetlight goes out, a black guy would drop. Charles just walk out of the shuttle like nothing ever happened. Give me your money. I'm good. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> ah! What happened? I have no idea. He's bleeding. He should probably get help. Yeah. Might want to call 911. You might want to call someone. Oh my god, what? He got blood on my brand new shoes. Really? You're going to be worried about your shoes and there's blood. Really? Alright, so what's the next? Oh, Alright. Okay. That's pretty much it for this one. This one? Alright, so we're going to make uh, retarded comments or are we going to stop? <laughs> make retarded comments and then sign out. Alright. So what's the first one? So and what... Get- all right, so who do you, who shall we pick off first? Well, I think you already made plenty of comments about them as we were going. DJ Speedy Cakes. Oh yeah. I'm guessing you have more for him. <laughs> nah, it's just the name is just funny to me. Clark, we got Clark Kent. We got heavy, we got heavy base Gravity Man. We got DDZ Wannabe. We got Robbie. Lame. We got Flint Hart, the indisputable and hard to find. He's going to be sitting behind blurry DJ disc tables, and if you can, find them in the woods. I did Speedy Cakes, Tanuki, which, how dare you? I don't even care. Tanuki, Hyundai, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Tanuki. Anyway, and then we got Dakaze, the, uh, the UK assassin. He's looking for jihad. He's not going to stop until he has victory. What? Okay, look. What if he's one of the assassins? Then, no. where's, his, where's his creed and where's his hoodie? I should not see his face. <laughs> He's a bad assassin. He's a new guy. He what, shows okay. up behind you. No, Desmond's an assassin and he doesn't have a hood. Yeah, but Desmond doesn't know he was an assassin. Last time I checked, the Assassin's Creed started with him getting kidnapped. So he's <laughs> yes. not already. You gotta think, that was back in his past. He may have been doing things that were related to that, but he didn't know about it. Okay, you guys, you guys, none of you have played Revelations yet, have you? Because he talks about... I haven't. He Revelations. He, at the end of Revelations, it comes to find out that 16 was actually uh, Altair's son, and I don't know how that gene pool split up. But anyway, it, yeah, it comes to find out he had he finds out he needs to go and clear some rock because some futuristic aliens told him that. Hey, should we just sign up real quick before we get more into other things? Before we spoil it for other people that haven't played it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Since I've been talking the most, this is, uh, shit, I forgot my name. 
DJ Jackal. <laughs> DJ Jackal. Oh, God. Yeah, this is DJ Jackal signing out. Man, I suck. <laughs> well, you all know me, Lizard God, signing out. This is Mongola Rainwolf, and this is the Anime Convention Video Channel, signing out.